You see, version after version, MetaHuman and Houdini became so close to work with. In this version, of course, we have Houdini 21, we have a lot of cool and amazing future, and we have Unreal 5.6. So, in this video, we will bring all the MetaHuman in Houdini. I don't know if you are like me or not, because I am more comfortable in Houdini than Unreal Engine. So, in this video, we'll try to bring all the MetaHuman, including geometry, rig, texture, club, drone, etc. So, let's see what's happening. Hi everyone, this is Daizen. Welcome back to our channel. We are trying to do everything in simple but yet a clever way. Because we believe the future going towards that. We will begin to create anything in simple way, but maintaining the quality of course. So this is our belief. So without further ado, let's begin. In this video, we will bring all MetaHuman. So in order to get this video better, you need to watch this previous one. Because in that, we talk about everything. How you can install the plugin and how you can get things running. So if you didn't watch that, go and watch. So as you can see in that video, we mentioned we cannot import MetaHuman DNA in houdini why because houdini didn't support that back then so in order to import this dna which is so important we will use houdini 21 and as you know houdini 21 has plenty of future integrating metahuman with houdini so we're gonna talk about that so before I begin, let me thank these amazing people on our website, supporting us, enjoying with our tool set. Thank you guys, you made my journey so delightful, honestly. So I will try to make it so fast and simple to demonstrate. So wish me a luck. Are you ready? Let's go. So we have our MetaHuman in our Unreal Engine 5.6, as you can see, and we have this simple cloth and we have groom and we have everything and now we're gonna dcc export that using this folder of course this is simple we talked about that in previous tutorial and let's assemble that will give us all the dna and all the texture now in new version of houdini 21 you need to update your plugin here you see you can update it here and of course after the update and after the installation you can go to this path and you can install the new MSI. That will install our new HDA. So this is the previous one, only Groom for MetaHuman. And now we have these three nodes. This is very awesome. This is the core of this video. So let's begin with the first one. This is MetaHuman character import. As you can see, let's choose our body DNA and head DNA. And as you can see, this is our character, you see? And this is simple. This is just like FBX character import. As you can see, we have the skeleton and we have our mesh. And now guess what? Of course, you can use, uh, you can use Keen tools to have some rig pose and bone deform. This is so straightforward, right? So this is the first and simple workflow. So this is meta human character import and it's have LOD and you can have this different version of simplicity in your work and of course the scale. Yeah, why not? So now let's go to a meta human DNA import. What is that? You see, we have the same thing. We can import the body and head DNA. And as you can see, this is the simpler version because we have extra attribute here. You see, this is the, com uh, the co uh, comparing for this character import. You see, we have this one. This is the containing all the rig. We'll talk about that in the future. So let's go to third one. MetaHuman character rig. As you can see, the output is strange, right? We'll talk about that later. And we're gonna select our folder. As you can see, now we have all the MetaHuman. You see, we have the face rig. And of course, we can, we're gonna, we can enable the texture and boom, this is the magic. You see, of course, we have all 
the LOD. And as you can see, the output is purple and it's packed. So guess what? This is Apex already made. You see, we have these all Apex uh, tools and we're gonna unpack the character. So this is the simple way to get all the character and the texture. So if you're interested, of course, you can have the mesh unpacked as you can see and you can have all the texture and you can have these uh, rig pose and you can have all the animation and from here guess what you can use the previous workflow with bond deform and rig pose you can animate all that so this is you can say the older version workflow you see I'm just animating that with rig pose, but this is, yeah, not cool. We'll talk about Apex now. Let's delete that. So we have Apex in this one, you see? And of course, now we can scene, use scene animate, and we can select all this bone. Pay attention, in this bone, we don't have any control. But in the face, you see, we have this control rig. So for the body, they promise us in the future we'll have this control. So if we take a look in this node, as you can see, it's use this DNA we talk about and it will uh, fetch all the attribute to create this amazing uh, character rig for us. So that's what's happening under the hood so stay with us we're gonna render meta human in easy peasy way in karma so what about animation let's say we want to animate this apex and we have this animation clip you see you can have of course mocha x and retarget that with Miximo move one we talk about that in this video of course so how we can use this animation so this simple workflow is we talk about that unpack the character and the third input goes to our clip you see and boom but we have issue you see the head is not right here because the skeleton is the body skeleton not the full skeleton you can say so we cannot use that so instead we're gonna use apex yeah i learned some apex I don't know, we need it. So this is the apex. The first one, it's scene at animation. It will take the scene, which is the output of this node. And we cannot, you see, we cannot uh, connect the FBX animation to the second input. We need to extract this control, you see? So we're gonna extract this control, of course. We're gonna select our rig here. And as you can see, we have our skeleton this is the body skeleton you see yeah so instead of that of course uh, we now back in kinefix tools so after that of course we need to update the control i want to build this setup the simple setup and boom we back in apex right but now in between we can insert these rig posts. So in that stream, we are back in Kinefix tools, you see? So instead of that, guess what? We can connect our FBX animation and voila, done. You see, that's awesome. So you have the body animation, you see? This is very cool. So far, so good. So if you like this kind of video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content and share it if you want. I will be so grateful, honestly. So what about face animation? As you can see, we have this face animation exported from Unreal Engine. As you can see, if we connect that instead of body animation, guess what? We don't have anything because when we extract the control, we have only the body skeleton, remember? So we cannot use this complex skeleton face skeleton so even we have this animation from skeleton this is very cool tool set so if i connect that to this node and guess what we don't have anything yet this is not going to work so we have simple approach of course this is i guess i guess this is because this tool set is not ready that's why we have this issue but we 
figure it out somehow you can say so we're gonna unpack the character and we're gonna have this previous workflow but the problem is yeah we have this weird effect <laughs> because we are override all the animation you see we have this, this skeleton with our animation in apex and we have this face animation which is override everything so we're gonna blend between the skeleton so we're gonna use kinefix so that's why I like Apex. Yeah, I'm going to like it, honestly, because you can use Kinefix and Apex together. So this is a skeleton blend. You can blend between this skeleton, as you can see. And as you can see with this slider, you can go back and forth and you can have something like that, you see? So with that, this is the simple demonstration of skeleton blend. And so we're gonna connect that to our output and we're gonna you see we're gonna have blending between these two so this is not going to work because we are blending all the skeleton we're gonna use mask instead of blending all that we're gonna use the mask only for the face so let's change that to the mask and this is for the input and we're gonna create paint mask node this is very simple and straightforward node you can paint your mask on this skeleton yeah quickly let me paint that roughly you can have more time for that so as you can see now guess what it's working we have the body animation and the face animation you see that's very cool so we are successfully import our head animation and the body animation as you can see it's work this is very awesome honestly so we are so close to render our meta human using karma in easy way so before that what about cloth if you remember we had cloth in our character and this is our blueprint and as you can see this is our cloth mesh so easy you can export that as a FBX and you can import that using FBX character import. That will import all the bone capture information. And let me delete that for this visualization purpose. And now let's connect this bone default. And of course you can connect the last one to the animation. So I forgot to tell you, we have this normalized joint you see this is will cause you an issue so we're going to disable it here but we're going to enable it in apex so remember that i forgot that sorry guys so now as you can see we have all the animation and as you can see we have all these cloth stuff and of course you can delete the, the geometry underneath the cloth to prevent these intersecting stuff and you can of course offset that with transfer node and voila you have your character and the cloth so we have one more left what about groom so we have groom in our meta human how we can import that or bring that in houdini so simple first of course you can use all these uh, meta human import groom and it's want a b c alembic file so let's see if we can export that as alembic file and voila we don't have any a b c option so it turns out in fab we have this plugin groom asset export and this is yeah this is not free you can buy that of course and yeah it will export alembic so if you don't want that you can export this mesh groom lod as a fbx and you can bring it here yeah you know the rest and you can match it with your character so now as you can see time to render our meta human you see we have that and we have all the material information inside the meta human character rig import and let's go to Celeris and let's have scene import and voila yeah very simple and very cool to achieve and now of course you can have your lighting stuff here and you have your meta human in houdini so in the future we are waiting for the update of this tool set to bring 
all the school future for us. So with that, have a good day. See you in the next one. Goodbye.